بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد شيخ ربي بن هادي on Marxism, social justice and revolutionary movements posted by Abu Iyad the slogan of all revolutionary movement is social justice and equality and what is similar these slogans resound with every unsuspecting person taken by emotion who is naive of the true and real motives and agendas of the agitators and revolutionaries Sheikh Rabbi bin Hadi Ahudullah said, and we have observed lessons from reality and from history, and there is no one reflecting and no one taking ad 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 admonition, except those upon whom Allah has shown mercy, and from them these lessons are the ev that every person of fitna, tri revolution, and every caller to misguidance raises with all strength the slogan of fairness, justice, and equity. The revolution led by Abdullah bin Sabah against the Russia's Khalif Uthman, uh, rather against Islam was in the name of justice. The revolution of Al Mukhtar bin Abi Ubaid, the heretic, was in the name of justice and equity. The revolution of Abu Muslim al Khurasani was under the slogan of justice and stopping oppression and justice. The Freemasonic movement, they carried the slogan of justice, equality, and freedom. The communist revolution was also carried out beneath these slogans, and all of them are deception and deceitful lying slogans. May Allah expose those calling with them and uncover their veils and humiliate them in this life before the hereafter. He also said, these demonstrations and revelations are from the methodology of Marx and Lenin and their likes. They are not from the methodologies of Islam. The revolutionism, shedding blood, tribulations, difficulties of all this is the way of Marx and Lenin. And they combine it with the way of the Kharijites and they said it, it is Islam as, as, as is their habit with things uh, Isl Islamic music, Islamic socialism, Islamic democracy, Islamic disco. All of this is misguidance. They bring these affairs from the East and West, these incitements, and clothe them with the garment of Islam. They have taken revolutionism, socialism from Marx and Lenin. He also said, and this revolutionary ideology of the modern Kharijites, we not say it is influenced by the ideology of the Kharijites, but we say that it is influenced by the communist, nationalist, and secularist revolutions before it is influenced by the ideology of the Kharijist. Notes 1. The slogans of social justice, fairness, equity, equality, and the legs are the foundation for the revolutionaries, the dictators, the nation destroyers, with the argument of misuse and turning of capital and unequal distribution of wealth. They seek to mobilize people against the, the authorities, having deceived them with these slogans in order to seize, to, to seize the reins of power and to take control over the financial affairs of the nation. The true motive is to seize power and wealth, and this was the reality of the first Kharijis, the underground movement of hypocrites present in the time of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They claimed this Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was unjust because he did not distribute wealth fairly. They were motivated by worldly affairs, but clothed their motives with the slogans of justice, fairness, and equity. After revolting against Uthman and assassinating him, accusing him of disbelief for not judging with justice, they eventually broke away as an, as, as an armed force in the era of Ali, anhu, making takfir of whoever did not agree with them or join them. They brought and told harm to the Muslim nation throughout the history and will continue to do so. In the modern era, their movement have been infiltrated and directed by the intelligence agencies of various Western nations to the, to the a detriment of Muslim in inhabited lands. These types of revolutions lead to greater evil than with that which would exist from the relation of the ruler and his injustice. And for this reason, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave very clear and definite guidance as to how Muslims should behave in the presence of sinful, oppressive, and unjust rulers in which there is a tremendous wisdom. In contrast, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke very severely and harshly against the Kharijis, stating that, stating that had he reached them, he would have assaulted them all. Two, prior to Islam, the Persian uh, Zor Zoroastrian known as Mazdaq died 528 CE, implemented an early form of communism, collectivism, collectivism where, wherein he claimed that world and women are the property of the collective owned by the community as a whole, meaning no private property and all the women so they are shared between the men. This is the same thing that is being attempted today, the abolition of private property and the destruction of marriage and family through confusions. Confusion about biological sex, sexual pro proximity, and erosion of the masculine and feminine. feminine. However, when Islam came and other regions and movements lost their power, they impacted upon revolutions of sorts against the Islamic leadership. And from those movements were a group known as the Huramites, the Reds. They were the remnant of those early communist uh, Mazdaqists. But the, the, the matter is very simple. Either you are in servitude to Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, 
or you are inside to other than Allah, other than the other than him, it is either with the Ubudiya to Allah or Ubudiya to other than him. And history is not interpreted and understood except on the basis of this Quranic divide. That it is either that the momentum and direction of servant and the outcome is for Ubudiya to Allah, and is the call of the prophets and the messengers and their followers, and what they engage in of activities, or it is that the momentum and direction of events. And the outcome is to lead people to Ubudiyya to Allah than Allah. And this is the call of Iblis and his allies. From the heads of disbelief and the nature of the activities they engage in, they must are led either the way, this way or that way. Iblis and his allies in opposition to the Prophet and messengers wish to be enslaved and subjugate Allah's servants. There are many ways to do this. One of them is to lead people to exaggerate in the righteous and in a step in, in, in a step by step fashion, turn them into deities that are worship, ignorance, juhul, jahal, and exaggeration of Gulu on behalf of men are the underlying causes. Another way is through tyrant and seekers of wealth, power, and authority, who are the wealthy and arrogant allied who Iblis, whom Iblis has beguiled, and perhaps many of them are in a league with him, particularly those who are Freemasons, uh, Luciferian, Illuminists. This is wealth, the, the, the means of production and subsistence of a nation after which they are able to dictate to people how to live their lives and to give obedience to them and their laws. They make use of religious to achieve these goals using these slogans of social justice, fairness, and equity, and the likes, claiming to fight for the right of the workers and what is similar. These are all deceptive slogans, and this is the reality of Marxism and communism. Number four, an example of that is the, is the communist revolution of Mao in China, called the Great Leap Forward, and what we see in a country such as Northern Korea, where the leaders are at a target who demand veneration, obedience, and worship under the threat of punishment, this is only possible to rule to, 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 totalitarian control, where the basic means of substantial food, abode, travel, and trade have been taken over by the state, communism, or corporations merged with the state uh, fascism, making people wholly and completely dependent on the state. Five, today this later approach has been undertaken through the slogans of the Great Reset and Build Back Better where corporate elite parasites represented by the WEF World Economic Forum have penetrated the cabinets of Western social procedural democracies in order to replace them with a scientific dictatorship, a techno-federalism which is ruled by the expert guided by the, by the science following the model of the Chinese communists, which has been a test bed for this elite over the past 70 years for this type of rule, for testing, revising, and perfecting it. Number six, the only thing that concerns us with this affair is their impact upon Muslims' beliefs since there are many ideological foundations which drive these agendas and which clash with the Tawheed of the Messengers, contradicting the Muslim creed and undermining belief in the Ruby of Allah. For some details refer the end of our article, Wokism as, as, as a species of Marxism. From the most prominent of them are the frauds and the physiosciences phys 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 of global warming, carbon dioxide as a pollutant, and the superstition of viral cont contagion. A major virus and their variant existing on the computer only, these two being the greatest tools in the toolkit of the Maldusian uh, eugenicists and collectivists who implement their agendas through captured institutions, WHO, tax exempt foundations, and a penetrated cabinet in Western socio pseudo democracies. Number seven, the desire of these people is to first of, first of all, call a large amount of the world's population through fake pandemics, vaccines, to facilitate death, sickness and infertility, wars and engineer famines, through destruction of farming and food supply chains, then those that remain will live under the techno federalism where the expert rule by the SARS, refer to Sheikh al on population control through wars, epidemics and vaccines. And by it, one of the one of the confusing and deceiving things about this is that there is no doubt that many of the proposed solutions will be great, will bring greater efficiency in various areas of life and that's because these people are all about economic efficiency and maximizing gains and profits and technology can be harnessed to, the, to that end however as with any tool a gun a knife a hammer it all depends on the motives and intentions of the one yielding it for the Maldivian, the Darwinian, or Unicist collectivists they have something in mind based upon their disbelief and desire for corruption and highness in the land but Muslim nations can make use of the same technologies upon the principles and foundations of Islam, upon the goals and objectives uh, of, the shari of the Sharia, and we seek Allah to grant success to the Muslim nations, their rulers and their authorities in navigating these waters with care, uh, and that he grants them to be the best of advisors that he that place the religion over all else, making the best choices and decisions, and that he protects them from plots, pitfalls and evils. Number nine. 
To counter this evil, Muslims must call out blunt, blatant falsehood and make it known to their children, who are a primary target for the ideological brainwashing that is necessary for the agenda to be progressed and fulfilled, since this way it can be achieved in one generation, for example, calling out the fraud of carbon dioxide being a pollutant and teaching children that it is essential for plant life and life in general, that this basic, no, be, 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 that, that, that this is basic biology, informing them that those seeking highness and corruption wish to falsify science to overturn their realities, teaching them to challenge this falsehood as it is the basis for a great deal of the subjugation and tyranny that is, it is to come. If these people can succeed, that you are not in need of this communist collect collective collectivist ideology of climate equity based on manufactured, bought, and paid for science. For example, the teaching that Allah subjected all what He created for the benefit of mankind, that Allah created livestock and cattle for mankind, for food, milk, transport, clothing, and furniture from their skin, fur, and hides, and so on. These are the textually stated in the Quran that the prophets were shepherds who had flock, and that the claim of the Maldusian eugenicist Bill Gates and others from the heads of this belief that keeping flock, eating meat or cattle farming and the likes, it is to the planet that this clashes with the Quran and it is a statement of this belief that Muslims reject and, and, and as it is revealment upon Salah Rebubiyya a revealment of his act of creation and Islam and that these are evident lies which oppose our religion and are insulting to it. For example, teaching them that Allah created the, created the male and female, giving them the unique qualities the complementary strike that sexual relations occur within marriage in a meaningful and lasting relationship, a contract in which both parties agree to serve and aid each other's interest in the one and a half time in whose setting children are raised. That this is the order that Allah placed in His creation, in opposition to the disbelieving collectivists, communists who hate the family for economic reasons because it is the basis of intergeneration world inheritance and so on, which they wish to snatch from people because it gives them. World, world, it gives them world independence. For example, teaching them, uh, we only take precautions from variability, very fiably sick people. Whether well, to avoid this, uh, the causes of diseases in the view of contagion, or to avoid a famine is a superstition of contagion in the view of its, its negation, and that healthy people fearing each other on the basis of fake science opposes our religion is from superstition and harboring of omens, it's nothing but whispering and cutting off ties in society. Teaching them that no one transmitted his illness to anyone else, as this is the, this is the statement of Jahiliya, rather that Allah create fresh standards of disease in whoever he wills, do the sum of its causes as the appointed time and place, and that the best and most complete guidance in this matter is that is, is what the Prophet ﷺ came with, in which there is efficiency, and that we are not in need of Darwinian biology episodes to govern our minds, thoughts, and behaviors. For example, that that this, that this, that disparity and equality within biology and life is the natural order, as it allows beneficial interests to be realized, allowing the offering and concept uh, recept of services based on different differences in traits, qualities, abilities, skills, and marital material possessions. These inequalities are a manifestation of Allah's rebubiyya, lordship, and out of which major symbols of religion such as charity, gratitude, humility, marriage, and the like alike come to be, that the, collectiv that the collectivists and the communists wish to raise all traits of Allah's rebubiyya to, re to the engineer society and so on. Then the more common and widespread the, the, the opportunity of these affairs are, and the more rooted they are in, in conscience of people and in children, the harder it is for these enemies of humanity masquerading as, as saviors and philanthropists to progress their agendas through their manufactured religious and receptive logos of social justice, fairness, and equity. Eleven, it should, be it come, it should come as a no separate that the Kharij, such as the ISIS, Daesh in the modern era, who have resemblance in the same way to the Marxist, Rationalist, Socialist, communist, and their slogans of social justice and establishing fairness and equality through equal distribution of wealth, and the lakes are often pawns in the hands of the wealthy elite and the intelligence services infiltrated and led by them and are used for the destabilization of nations while capturing sovereign authority and depth of its resources.